hello, hello. Welcome. Are we live? Yes, we are. Awesome. All right, make sure you say hello when you come in. We are going to work on house cutouts today. Make sure I can see comments. Here we go. So we're going to change up the house cutouts. And we're going to make it look like a pencil. And you're probably thinking, what? How are you going to do that? So these are our house cutouts. Hey, Anita. And it comes with two in a pack. And this is a great gift for a teacher. Um, anybody that is in the field, not necessarily a teacher, but somebody that teaches. Hey, Carrie. So this is our house cutout. And we are going to change this up with the, it's called Teacher's Influence. So the top part of this is um, kind of like those notebooks, uh, what do you call, they have a special name. And I just went completely blank. But that is what that texture is supposed to look like. We're not going to use that. So I am going to slice it right there to separate it. I know there's a name. Hey, Serena. What the heck is the name of those black notebooks? And they've got that pattern on them. Oh. I don't know if it's age or what it is, but... I keep forgetting words. Oh my goodness, you guys. It'll come to me. So that is done and it's ready. Hey Marie, we are ready to go. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape off some sections because we're gonna be painting it different colors to make it look like a pencil. So I'm using my placement tape. And I'm just going to pull some off here. And we're going to do the eraser first. So this end is going to be the eraser. This end is going to be the tip of the pencil. So we'll do that. Don't need very much for that. And we're going to use chalk paste for all of this. We're going to water it down and paint with it. So there are those two. So it's going to be a little bit of a process uh, because we do have to dry in between each one. So for the eraser, I think I'm going to use guava. Um, I don't really want to use pink because it's going to take, I don't think it's going to stand out as much. So if I use like peony, I think it's going to be too light. What we can do is we can add a little bit of white to the guava just to lighten it up a bit. So let's grab some of that. I think I might want to make this eraser just a little bit bigger. There, that's about, about three quarters of an inch I'm putting my tape at. And that is completely crooked. You want to make sure you get it on there straight. All right, so we'll grab some guava. I think I'm going to have to order some more of that. It's such a beautiful color. And then we'll grab some white. 
We don't really need a lot. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water to my color tray just to water it down and make it easier to paint with it. See, that's, I think that's gonna be a perfect color. It's not too orange, but it's not really pink either. Okay, so let's flip this and we'll just paint this just as if you were using paint. And make sure you get it all covered. And I'm gonna go along the sides too. I should have actually put the tape all the way because you're gonna see um, at least one of the sides. I've got some little chunky pieces in there. I don't want that. So let's go eyeball the sides here. There we go. And that looks good. Now I'm going to put some water in my paper towel because I'm going to need this for the yellow. Get most of this off. I really should have a glass of water sitting beside me to soak my brushes. That would be smart. Okay, so now we're gonna do the black. And I'm gonna grab a couple more stir sticks because I know I'm gonna need them. And put just a tiny little bit of black into my color tray. And this black is really thick. So have you guys had a good Saturday so far? I left the house today. I have to say I'm pretty proud of myself because I was starting to become a little bit of a recluse. <laughs> my son phoned me and I told him I went shopping. He goes, oh my God, you left the house. I think he was starting to get worried. It's probably been a month since I was out of the house. So I have to say it was nice. And I went to the dollar store in Dollarama to see if I could pick up supplies for Easter. I figured, oh yeah, they're probably got everything set up already, but no. No. They didn't have it done yet that's all right. So now we're going to do the end here, which is going to be the pencil, the lead part of the pencil, and that needs to be darker. So let's add some more. We'll make it a little bit thicker. Just add more chalk paste to it. Awesome. Oh, yeah. That kind of sucks, hey, Marie? I'm at work, too. But I'm doing what I absolutely love. I really do love it. Okay, I think this is better. Let's try that again. It might actually need a couple of coats. So we're gonna dry that and then we're gonna do another, another coat. Hey, Judy. Make sure I'm not missing any comments. I am having a beverage today. 
I figure I deserve it after leaving the house. Just gonna give this a quick dry. Now that I'm looking at this, <laughs> well, you can come here anytime you want, Marie. I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking maybe I should add a little bit of cherry blossom to the guava because it is still kind of on the orange side and an eraser is not orange right let's just see we're just going to mix up our own color here Let's see. That's a little bit better. We'll do this black again. This is just going to be so adorable when it's done. Okay, so the black is good. Let's get that cleaned. I'm making a mess again. That's what I do best. See, a water cup would be really, really good. I do need this little tiny brush for the silver because you know how there's silver on the end of the pencil by the eraser? So I do need that again. Now let's use this one and do this again. It's a little bit lighter. It's not quite as orange now, which I think is good. That is going to be perfect. Get the sides. <clears throat> so I know for next time I'm going to have to get my tape just a little bit longer. That is perfect now. I could yell for hubby to bring me a cup with water, but... He probably won't hear me because he's watching a movie. He's got headphones on. Okay, so let's take the tape off here. And we're not going to use that again because it has the black on it. And we'll take this piece off. See, I should have. Oh, I wasn't thinking. You guys are seeing it, aren't you? I didn't do black here. So I am eyeballing it. It will be just fine. Get this side. So important, take note, you want to cover the sides. Because otherwise, when it's sitting like this, you're going to see this part and it's not going to be covered. All right, let's clean that again. little bit more water here. Okay. I think that is good. 
sort of I'm a hot mess today you guys there we go okay so we've got that done now we need to make sure that this is really dry because we're going to tape both sides now so let's get it good and dry oh nice I wish I had a hot tub good for you Anita That is one thing that I have always wanted, is a hot tub. We have the perfect spot on the side of the house. Okay, so now we need to tape this part and this part. Where? There it is. Let's find the end here and then tape all the way. So I want to make sure I get a good amount here. And then I'm going to leave a little bit of room for my silver. The silver will do last because that takes a little bit longer to dry. And then we want to cover up the black here. And you'll want to twist it a bit to get it there. So I actually pinched um, the side here just so that I can get it straight. Just reading, oh, I bet, especially for achy, sore muscles. That's what I keep thinking. Like, I think it would really help my arm if I had a hot tub, right? It's good for sore muscles. I'm telling hubby that. He comes home from work, and it'd be awesome for him to soak. All right, so now I'm taping here because we're doing the tan part of the pencil and then the rest of this is gonna be yellow. So we're gonna to have to move the tape again. So it's kind of, it's a long process, but the results are gonna be really, really cool. Hey, Alicia. All right, so we're gonna do this in Dune. And we're going to get some paste and water that down. This one's really thick, too. Speaking of thick paste, I don't know if you guys have gotten paste that was really thick and not so creamy. Well, we have a new formula out, and it's always going to be creamy, dreamy. So if you're ordering new paste you're going to notice such a difference. It's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. This part is not too bad because I want it thinned down a bit to brush it on. Give it a good mix. Make sure I don't have any lumps. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Oh, so amazing. And then to be in the hot tub when it's snowing outside. I don't know. It just seems like 
such a perfect way to spend a night or an afternoon. I just love that idea. All right, let's grab a clean paintbrush because this is quite light. And we'll just paint. It's not going to be much different than the white, but it's going to be enough um, of a contrast. You could use um, almond or what else could you use? You could use bark, adding a little bit of white to it. Do the side. I guess you could even use a yellow with a little bit of brown in it to make it more of a woods color, like a lighter wood. Let me get my brush strokes out. I think that's good. Now we'll give it a dry and see what it looks like. Might need to give it another coat. I think it needs one more. Okay. Get some more here. And I think I'm going to do the brush strokes this way. Just so if they show up, it'll kind of look like the pencil was sharpened. That is my story and I'm sticking to it. Do the sides. Get this side going. All right. Now we're going to dry it and then we're going to move the tape. Let's. Oh, you know what I do have? I have a dish here. I'm going to put the water in there. That's better. Grab some paper towel. And now we'll move the tape. And I am going to need a new black. Because that other one is just too thick. I think that's Dune. All right, let's move the tape. And I'm just going to move this just uh, so there's a little bit here to do the silver. And then we're going to do that yellow. Let's move this one. All right, let's let's get this really dry.
I don't want to pull up the chalk paste. So I'm going to use a little bit of wax because this is a large surface here. Just a little bit of wax on there. All right. And now we'll use this tape again. Hopefully. And we're going to line it right up to where that dune ends. Come on. There we go. And then I'm going to flip the corner again. And I'll show you what I just did. So I flipped the corner so that I could make it square along the side there. So just by lining it up and then pinching these together. Does that make sense? Okay. Now we're going to use Bumblebee, which is a nice bright yellow. And we're going to need a good amount of that. Get that water down. And I'm going to mix this up. Get it to a nice thick paintable paste. Get that all blended in. And you want to make sure you don't have any lumps in it because then when you're painting it, you're going to have those lumps on your surface. We are so close to being able to chalk. It's going to be awesome. Let's see. I don't want it to be translucent. I want it to be a nice yellow color. I have to say, I haven't used these colors that I'm using right now in so long. And it's a really good idea to go into your pace once a month and do maintenance on them. Give them a good mix. If they need a little bit of water, then they won't dry out. And I really should practice what I preach because these ones, it's probably been, I'm going to say a good five, six months since I used them. Um, let's, we're going to grab a clean brush for this. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Perfect. Get the whole surface area covered here. And do the sides. Try and get rid of your brush strokes. This is going to look so good. I wish my kids had teachers. Oh, 
This is so cute. Okay. I think we're done with the yellow. And my yellow needs water, so I'm just going to pour it right back in the container. There we go. I'll put that aside. And now we're going to do the silver. So the last part. Oh, that's awesome, Anita. I never did for the kids. I didn't think it was a thing back then. Maybe it wasn't. Oh, that's perfect. So now we're going to put two pieces of tape on so that we can do this center in silver. Let's just give this a dry. Yeah, it must not have been a thing when the kids were younger. I mean, the last time one of the kids was in school, God, it was a long time ago. Peel that off and I didn't have the tape quite on here so there's a little bit of yellow but we can clean that up after let's get this piece off can you see it coming together now it's starting to come together Okay, those all have chalk paste on them, so. I am using the detail tool here. And it's actually taking off that extra yellow chalk paste. So that's good. All right, now Let's get there it is sitting right in front of me. I think that's good. Line that up right along the edge of the yellow. And then do the same thing on the other side. Okay, good thing I got another placement tape here. Come on. And along the side of the pink. So now the only part that's exposed is the part that we want to do silver. I'm just going to grab. And the silver. Oh my goodness. There we go. It is on its last legs. It's actually, it's done. It is done. So let's see. I'm pretty sure. I do. I have a shimmer silver in the single, so that's what we're going to use. Now, the good thing is I can squeeze out just a little bit, and then I can roll this up and seal it for the next time I want to use it. Because we truly are not going to need 
a lot. Let's use this little guy. One thing with the silver, any of the glitter ones, they don't paint as well as um, other colors because of the glitter in it. So this is actually working good because I've got the two pieces of tape that are almost like a silk screen area and the shimmer paste is sticking right in the middle. So that actually works much better. Okay. Time to reveal. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. That is perfect. Okay, so we're going to dry this really well now, and then we're going to wax it. This is awesome. Glitter does take just a little bit longer to dry than the regular chalk paste. That feels good. Now, let's put a little bit of wax before I do anything else, I'm going to fold this over. I'm going to use a little bit of placement tape on it. And since I've got all this extra, I might as well use a piece of that. There, so now this is ready to go for next time I want to use it. Let's put some wax on. And waxing it is going to protect uh, because we use chalk paste on here. So it's going to protect it from pulling up that paste when we put our transfer down. It's always a good thing to use that. Okay. Now we're going to fuzz the transfer. So like I said, we're only going to use the words from here. And we're going to fuzz this really well. And on here it says the influence of a good teacher can never be erased. Isn't that true? So let's put this right, right there. And we're going to use black. What is going on with my I wonder if it's down, we, downstairs, we've got a wood stove. I wonder. My chalk paste are all really thick. I think it's the wood stove. Oh, it's really too warm down here? Yeah. Oh. oh, crap. Don't say crap. 
we're gonna live. Have, we're going to have to move you on the outside balcony. Yeah, Huffy just says he's going to have to move me on the outside balcony. Not a chance. And then, and then we'll see if you can play. Not a chance. I'm not complaining. I'm just stating a fact. He thinks he's so funny sometimes. Well, he is actually really funny. All right, we're almost there, guys. We're in the home stretch. What did she do? He's putting wood in the fire and he burns himself. We both burnt ourselves a lot this season. You'd think we'd know better. All right, so now we're going to use the black. And grab some paste. I want to make sure it's adhered really well. And I'm going to go slow because I don't want to go outside my transfer area now that this is painted so nicely. Just drag it all the way across and take your excess off. There we go. I'm excited. I've wanted to do this for so long. Get all that excess goodness off. All right, I think we're ready to peel it up. I'm going a little bit slower because my paste was a little on the thinner side. There we go. Isn't that cute? And all the sides are done. What do you think? Very nice. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah. I love how it turned out. It'd be actually too hard to draw with that pencil. It's not a usable pencil, honey. I'll hold it in one hand. Oh my God. Did you guys hear what hubby just said? Anita says, hi, Glenn. Hi, Anita. So cute. He says, it'll be hard to draw with this pencil. Always a comedian, right? All right, my friends, that was it for day 20. Wasn't such a quick live, but I'm really happy I did it because it's so cute. Now I got to clean this mess up. Um, tomorrow, I was thinking of doing a wreath. Um, a oh my God, it's snowing again. Seriously? Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just looked out and it's like, it's snowing. <laughs> Here, I thought we were done with that. Oh, well. Okay. I will be back tomorrow. It'll probably be about the same time. Three o'clock seems to work um, for the different time zones and stuff, so... That will be it. All right. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I will put the link for this in the comments. Thanks, Judy. Thanks, Serena. Thank you, Carrie and Anita. All right, my friends. Have an awesome Saturday night. I will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.